Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about elements of a quadrilateral. Specifically the angles and the region of a quadrilateral. But first let us refresh our memories. What is a quadrilateral? A quadrilateral is a four sided close figure made of four line segments and it has four vertices vertex A, vertex B, vertex C and the vertex D. Make this quadrilateral which is quadrilateral A, B, C, D and this quadrilateral A, B, C, D is made of four line segments which are line segment AB, line segment BC, line segment CD and line segment DA. We also know this quadrilateral has four angles which are angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D. Now we keep hearing about different angles, opposite angles, adjacent angles, etc. What are these? Let us see. Here if we see this is angle A and this is angle B and these two angles have a common arm which is arm AB or the line segment AB. You know such angles which have a common arm are called adjacent angles. Hence angle A and angle B are adjacent angles. Similarly if we see angle B and angle C which common arm they have? Yes it is line segment BC. Hence we can say angle B and angle C are also adjacent angles. Similarly angle C and angle D are adjacent angles with the common arm DC and also we can say angle A and angle D are also adjacent angles with the common arm AD understood now if we talk about angle A and angle C do they have any common arm this angle has the arms AD and AB and this angle C has the arms CD and CB hence they do not have any common arm such angles are called opposite angles. Hence angle A and angle C are opposite angles. Similarly angle B and angle D they also do not have any common arm. Hence angle B and angle D are also opposite angles. Now let's see about different regions of a quadrilateral. What are these? Let us see. First, what is the region inside the quadrilateral? The green colored region is inside the quadrilateral and we can say it is the interior of a quadrilateral. Same way, which is the region outside the quadrilateral? Here this blue colored region is the region outside the quadrilateral and we say it is the exterior of a quadrilateral. You know if we take together the region inside the quadrilateral along with the quadrilateral then it is called the quadrilateral region. So this is the quadrilateral region of quadrilateral A, B, C, D which includes this green colored area and also the quadrilateral 
which is shown by this red line that is the boundary of this quadrilateral now let us figure out the locations of various points here we have three points point M point N and point O let us figure out their locations first point N this is the interior of the quadrilateral hence we can say point N lies in the interior of the quadrilateral next point M point M lies outside the quadrilateral hence its location is exterior of the quadrilateral now coming to the point O it lies on the quadrilateral so this point O lies on the quadrilateral so basically we saw the three regions interior exterior or on the quadrilateral itself now here we have two points point N and point O both of them lie inside the quadrilateral that is their location is interior of this quadrilateral now let us join these two points which are inside the quadrilateral by a line segment now does this line lie wholly inside the quadrilateral yes we can say that but is it always true or can we say that the line segment will lie wholly inside the quadrilateral if it is joining two interior points let us see this type of quadrilateral this is quadrilateral R S T U the shape is little different but it is a quadrilateral as it has four sides now here point P and point Q lie inside the quadrilateral let us join these two points by a line segment here does the line segment lie wholly inside the quadrilateral no some part is inside and some part is outside the quadrilateral so there are these two types of quadrilaterals first when we saw that the line segment lies wholly inside the quadrilateral which was joining the two interior points then the quadrilateral is called convex quadrilateral so this is a convex quadrilateral because the line segment which is joining the two interior points lies wholly inside the quadrilateral next when we saw that the line segment joining the two interior points did not lie completely inside the quadrilateral then this type of quadrilateral is called concave quadrilateral understood children so remember what we learned today about the quadrilaterals children first the adjacent angles have a common arm for example angle P and angle Q they have a common arm which is line segment PQ so this way there are four pairs of adjacent angles next what about opposite angles opposite angles are the angles which do not have a common arm for example angle P and angle R they do not have any common arm this way you know there are two pairs of opposite angles only one pair is angle P and angle R the other pair is angle Q and angle S and coming to the locations of points here the point M lies in the interior of this quadrilateral P Q R S what about point N 
the point n lies exterior of the quadrilateral so it lies exterior to this quadrilateral PQRS coming to the point O point O lies on the quadrilateral itself now coming to the two types of quadrilaterals this is a convex quadrilateral why if we join these two interior points then the line segment joining these two points lies wholly within it see hence this is a convex quadrilateral the other type is concave quadrilateral these two are the interior points and if we join these two points by a line segment then this line segment does not lie completely inside it hence it is a concave quadrilateral that was all about the elements of quadrilateral bye bye children